Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about um, increasing and decreasing uh, sequences. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is let's consider a bounded sequence. Okay, and let's say that we have an increasing sequence. Okay, so we have a sub n is less than, oh, let's say a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and so on. Okay, or equal to. Okay, so now, if we have this situation, then we have an increasing terms, right? So we have a sequence that's increasing. And since this sequence is increasing, there are only two possibilities, right? We could have an increasing sequence that diverges because this thing goes off to infinity, right? Or it could be increasing but approaching a specific value, so it could converge. Now, the fact that this is a bounded sequence, though, means that it's bounded from above, right? So this is bounded from above, which means that it can't go past a certain value. So even though this is increasing, the fact that it's bounded above tells us that a sub n, or excuse me, the sequence a sub n converges. Okay? Now, <clears throat> um, what do I want to say here? Um, oh, by the way, and since, oh, do I want to do it? Um, Yeah, they're not oscillating, too. Okay, that's another thing I want to say. So, these are increasing, so the fact that it's not oscillating uh, also <clears throat> is important to note. Okay, so the fact that it's increasing and not oscillating, then we have those two possibilities. Either the, the sequence could diverge to infinity or it could converge. But, since the sequence is bounded, then it's bounded above, and the sequence can't diverge to infinity for that fact. So let's consider uh, this sequence here as an example. <clears throat> so if we look at that sequence, it's, it's an increasing sequence, and it's bounded above. And it converges. So it's obvious that this is increasing. It's bounded above because this thing will never be above 1, right? And so we can conclude that this is a convergent sequence. Okay, <clears throat> now... Now let's look at this sequence. So now if we look at this sequence,
Notice what happens here. It goes two zero, then three zero, four zero. So it's going up and down here, right? So from here to here, it's going up and down. So it's not increasing for all of the values, right, of n. But if you notice after here, now the um, sequence starts to increase. Now it's an increasing sequence from this point forward. So we see that eventually the sequence becomes an increase in sequence. So on the eighth term here, it becomes an increasing sequence. Okay? And since it's an increasing sequence, and this is also bounded above, right, it converges. So eventually, it's an increasing function. Okay? So what does that mean? Well, what it shows us is that it doesn't have to be increasing on the entire for all values of n, right? But so, for example, in this case here, it's increasing um, sequence for all values of n. Here, it eventually becomes an increasing um, sequence, starting at some particular value of n. But in both cases, since it's either increasing or eventually increasing, the fact that it's bounded from above in this case leads us to the conclusion, based on the theorem, that these converge. Now, the same thing applies to decreasing functions and or, or eventually decreasing functions and being bounded from below. Okay? So that's going to bring us to our next definition.